Hello folks, Abfielder here with another Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to be talking about the fabric mod Mini Hood. Mini Hood is a really simple mod and it's the thing you see in the top left hand corner now that's giving you my coordinates, the way I'm facing and the biome that I am currently in. It's a little bit like an F3 debug menu but it's a lot lot smaller, a lot cleaner and I prefer it for when I'm recording because obviously F3 just looks ugly. So, I wanted to talk about it and how I've got it configured, how you can change those options, etc. So, the first thing you need to know is how to get in the menu. Well, actually, the first thing you need to know is how to install it. I'm not going to cover that. Just install Fabric, then search for Miniherd, download, put it in the mods folder. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube on how to install Fabric. It is super simple to do. So, you need Fabric, then Miniherd. Once you have those installed, launch your game and then hit the H plus C key. That's Hotel Charlie and that will open up the mod menu. Now I do have another mod installed called mod menu and that gives me this option here for mods. If I hit the mini HUD mod, by the way, if you'd like any other tutorials, then just let me know and hit the configure button up there and it'll take you to the exact same place. But the quick way, H plus C, Hotel Charlie, and that will get you into the menu. First thing I want to talk about is the font size. So I have this nice comfortable size. By default, it is 0.5, which is too small. So I can reset it. I'm going to hit the T key because I want to type in want like that. And that gives me a nice size that I can read nice and easily. Colors I am not going to go into. It shouldn't affect too much other than the text color down there. The thing I really want to talk about is how we customize it to display the info that you want to display. So, I have it displaying the coordinates, the direction that I'm facing, and the biome that I am currently in. And all really useful stuff. So you can configure this. So for example, if you wanted memory usage might be useful. You might want to know how you're doing for memory usage. I'm using about a gig of the six gig that I have allocated to, uh, to this Java java whatever I've, I've allocated 60 instance instance the word i'm looking for so that might be useful in some scenarios it's probably not that useful all the time so h plus c and i would want to turn that off where did i put it there we go reset to false so that's the way you could do it but Another way you could do this and another thing to look at is these info hotkeys. So occasionally it might be useful to know what my FPS is, but I do not want it all the time. So you can assign a hotkey to this and it will change your your menu. So if I hit control G, which is what I had that set to, it will now display my FPS. Now I don't want that all the time. I don't care about that information all the time. So control G again, and that will remove the info. The last thing that I want to talk about with the uh, with this is that you can change the order in which things face. So I have the coordinates at the top of my screen or at the top of my my information. Maybe I want them at the bottom. Now I can't remember how many options there are, so I'm just going to go in and type 50. Just tab over it, and there you go. Coordinates are at the bottom. So I go back in, I am going to reset that because I will forget and that will confuse me for days on end. Folks, that's how you get that really clean, lovely debug menu in the top left hand corner. And I find that super useful. If you found this video useful, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment as well. Let me know you subscribed. I'd love to say hello to you. Anyway, that's the first in this series of mini herd videos. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.